Hi folks, we're Travel with Johnny and Will, and we're currently on board Ambassador Cruise Line's ship, Ambition. So, in this video, uh, we've been here five nights, this is our last night, uh, and we're videoing, uh, filming this before we go to bed. Um, so we wanted to tell you all about our cabin and to show you around. So we stayed uh, in a suite, uh, a junior suite, uh, on deck 10, and we are in cabin 1014. So let's show you around our cabin. So as suite customers, there is a list of things that are provided for us. These are as follows. A welcome bottle of wine. A welcome bottle of water. A fridge with a chargeable mini bar on request. A fresh fruit bowl. Bathrobe and slippers. A pair of umbrellas. A pair of binoculars. A world atlas. Laundry service discount to the order of 30%. No tray charge for the room service breakfast. Complimentary Wi-Fi consisting of the basic package. Afternoon nibbles served to your cabin. So the good points that we have found with this cabin, having been here for five nights, 
is it's a really good size. There's plenty of room to move around to the bed, mm -hmm. you know, to pass each other at the desk area and uh, getting in and out the balcony. Uh, and it is a good layout in terms of the cabin uh, and, the, and the use of the space. It's lovely big mirrors and things like that that really, you know, give a sense to, as well to make the cabin feel bigger. And the balcony is also probably the biggest balcony we've had. Yeah, on everything about this is sort of mm -hmm. super sized. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the cabin is serviced twice a day, uh, and we know a lot of cruise lines have started to ditch their evening service. Um, not that we make a mess of the cabin, uh, but it is nice just obviously come back from a night out, have your curtains drawn and your bed turned on, things like that. It's just a nice touch of being on a cruise. The other good thing is um, a lot of cruise lines just do a continental breakfast if you're getting room service. Mm -hmm. um, but on Ambassador, the, the little door hanger menu where you tick off what you want for breakfast, you can literally order a full English breakfast as you know, or an omelette or pancakes or, you know, there's a great selection on that room service breakfast menu, mm -hmm. um, which has really impressed us. Um, obviously, as a sweet guest, as well as already said, we aren't charged the tray charge. Mm. Um, however, if you're a normal guest, it's great just to have those options available for the price of eight ninety five to have it delivered to your cabin. Oh, yeah. So moving on to the bad things. The cabin is a bit dated mm. and this tells itself in terms of like the colour and the style of the, the finishings in the yeah. room. You can tell they just haven't been updated recently. Mm. <laughs> uh, but then this also creates a new problem in that um, a lot of people have phones, they want to charge them by their bed mm -hmm. or they need USB ports and there's absolutely no um, ability to do that in this room. The only power points are by the desk area mm -hmm. and there's two EU, two UK, one single USB-A and one single USB-C mm -hmm. charging port by the desk but absolutely nothing anywhere else. Not even um, in front of us right here there is like what would you call it, like a sideboard? Yeah. But the fridge is there and there's the Kettle. hospitality tray yeah. is heading away in here. But if you brought it out and put it up here, there's nowhere to actually plug it in. Yeah. So that's been a bit of an annoyance. And we actually haven't used it probably mm -hmm. just because of that reason. Mm -hmm. uh, because we've been using the desk more and there's not much space on it. So we don't want to take up extra space. The other thing I found about the bathroom, so my only fault of the bathroom is that because I'm six foot five, standing in the bath for showering, um, the head height was a little bit limited. Mm. But actually the water pressure, everything was grand on that, but it's just because I'm tall, mm -hmm. it was a bit. But it was definitely better than some of the other cabins I've seen with the, the tight shower enclosure. Yeah. We have got footage of um, an outside cabin, which we're going to bring you, which is on deck seven. Uh, and we were able to get into uh, an inside cabin and solo cabin. So we'll bring you another video uh, just with some shots of that as well. Yeah. Um, another negative point that we have found with the ship and being in this cabin is the Wi-Fi. So we get a, p a basic package uh, being a sweet guest. Basic means terrible. Um, we couldn't really do anything with it. I, I give up on it. It yeah. wouldn't connect properly for me. It, even when you were connected, it was really slow. Like to yeah. look anything. So then on day two, we visited guest services and we asked, was there a possibility of us upgrading the internet package? Which of course, and the the guy was very helpful. Within a couple of minutes, he had the order put through to IT, and then later on that evening, uh, a, a letter was delivered to the cabin for each of us mm -hmm. with a different ticket uh, code and password that you would then put in uh, to log in. So the additional upgrade cost us £24 for the rest of the cruise between us, which is oh, it's so cheap. Yeah, it was an, addition, an, an additional £3 per day per, per person. person, which is super cheap. Mm -hmm. um, However, it still hasn't been great. No, um, I, I definitely worked better not in this specific cabin. Yeah, if you're in the public areas, yeah, it, it it's great. better, yeah. But um, I'm sorry, I don't buy the internet package to go and sit in the bar on the internet. For, for me, I found that it kept logging me out or yeah. it wouldn't stay connected to the internet as strong as other yeah. ships Wi-Fi have. Yeah. 
And then you don't know if your phone's disconnected, so then you're thinking, my WhatsApp, my notifications will still work. Yeah. But they won't because you've disconnected and, and you don't and know. So that's a big thing for us because, totally. you know, we, we want to stay connected um, for a number of reasons. You know, I, I want to know if my mum needs to contact me in an emergency or if somebody needs to notify me of something about my mum that they can whatsapp call me mm, or uh, our dogs you know or our dogs as well um, and I own my own business again so again it's something that I, I, I want to have that connectivity um, on a cruise and I'm happy to pay for it but it wasn't proper connected. The funny thing is is that we know that they're using the Starlink system yeah. because we've seen the, the things outside mm -hmm. But just the way it's set up, it just wasn't as stable and as well connected as no. other ones we've had. No. So it's definitely a negative for us. Definitely a big negative. So as a sweet guest, we found that there was little extra amenities in our um, bathroom. So for example, there was like a comb, a loofah, two dental kits, there was a vanity kit, uh, there was also a shower cap. You know, so just those little wee extras, um, which are always nice. So would we recommend booking a junior suite on board Ambition for Ambassador Cruise Lines? Um, yeah, I think we would. Uh, 100%. If you really like the idea of having a big comfortable space mm -hmm. uh, like we do and having a more comfortable bathroom, mm -hmm. um, I'll insert footage here of what a standard bathroom looks like on um, any other cabin uh, that isn't a suite. Mm -hmm. And these uh, bathrooms are tight. They're not yeah. made for large people. They're not made for tall fluffy people. cruisers. Yeah. They're not made for tall people. Yeah. Yeah. They're tight. Um, yeah. So if you really don't want that, definitely consider booking a junior. Suite. I, I just think it's you know if you come on holiday because you want to just relax and you want comfort and nice things, if you can afford the junior suite, definitely go for it. Mm -hmm. Definitely go okay. for it. I hope you found this video useful and if you have, um, please consider giving us a like down below and don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.